Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rayalo again with another fishing guide for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we are going to be covering the key fishing quest for level 25, which is a game of cat and fish. This one can of course be gotten from Sisipu in the Fisherman's Guild in Limsa. Now for this one, we are going to need to actually talk about gear a little bit because we are going to need perception because we need to catch high quality fish in this quest. So as you can see here, it says we need to go to the waters around Fallgord Float in the North Shroud. We're going to be using um, crayfish balls to catch a high quality striped goby. Then you are going to use your fishing ability Mooch to catch the shadow cat. While that does seem a little bit limited, we actually have a couple of options for what we want to fish for. Uh, first, let's head over to Hawker's Alley. Let's talk about bait. As it said in the quest, if you want to go with just the basic stuff, then come over to Sign Hill, the Fieldcraft Supplier. Purchase items. You can get uh, the crab balls from him. Uh, you can also use... or the crayfish ball, I'm sorry. Uh, you can also grab a silver spoon lure. Yes, you can grab a silver spoon lure here. So silver spoon lure or the versatile lure will catch you these fish. I don't like to use the versatile lure because as I always say, you're going to end up catching a bunch of different fish. It's going to try to catch all the fish in the hole and it could take you a little bit longer. So grab the silver spoon lure or the crayfish ball. Now, like I said, we do need to get perception up there. Normally we don't harp on gear, but as we go on with Fisher, we're gonna actually need to have slightly better stats. You don't just have to have stellar stats though. If you head right across Hawker's Alley over to Iron Thunder here, you can go to purchase hand and land. You need to be level 27 for this quest, so you wanna go to the 20 through 29 gear. You can grab uh, anything with the perception in the 20s here. Like the cotton doublet veil of uh, get gathering, uh, perception plus fourteen. Anything with perception on it really is going to help you out. Gathering will help you catch the fish. Perception is what we need for high quality fish. Once you have your gear together, we are going to head on over to the shroud. You can either go to North Shroud, like it said in the quest, to Fall Gourd Float. If you want things to be a little bit more private, you can actually go over to the lavender beds. And instead of going for striped gobies, you can go for Alamegan fighting fish there. You'll want to use the spoon lure for them. But you can actually mooch. If you go to any fishing hole in the lavender beds, you can mooch off the Al Alamegan fighting fish. Uh, the reason that's not mentioned in the quest, I'm guessing, is because... It's probably because the lavender beds and the, the residential wards weren't around when this quest was... Because this quest has been around as long as the game's been. It's a pretty old one. So it just wasn't an option at that point. When you come to the telepoint in Fall Gourd Float, you are literally surrounded by water. If you bring up the map here, you can see there's actually water pretty much all around here. So just pick a spot you like. Anywhere that's nice and scenic. It's a nice little gazebo, just anywhere you want. For your bait, I brought the versatile lure. I'm gonna fix that. All right, now that I've got my silver spoon lure and crayfish balls, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the crayfish balls. They've got a slightly smaller amount of fish they can catch. Then pretty much it's just a matter of casting your line. You'll hook whatever fish you come across. The more perception you have, the higher your chance of getting high quality. Now when you get one, you can actually use Mooch. Or in my case, Mooch 2. Mooch 2 is actually a level 63 ability that uh, is something you can look forward to. What it does is make it so you don't have to have a high quality fish to mooch. It actually takes 100 GP to use it, but it can make it so you can mooch any fish. It doesn't have to be high quality fish, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to keep on casting until we get a high quality. And 
I'll just kind of pause through this and skip on through it until we get one so you don't have to sit here and watch me fish. Alright, so now we've gotten our, H our HQ striped gobies. You can see my mooch uh, ability is blinking here. We will cast that out. And then it's just a matter of hooking the shadow catfish. This has a lot of RNG to it, so even with my gear, which is way above par, there we go. Even my gear that was way above par for this particular quest, um, it took me, let me see here, I had 30 gobies, or 30 crayfish balls when I started, so I almost went through 20 entire balls before I could actually pull up that striped goby, so hopefully you guys' mileage will vary better than mine. Uh, but, I mean, you need a lot of EXP, or hopefully you came and did this quest at like level 27, and you're not just waiting to get past or later you're, you know, you're, you're not getting any EXP from these fish at all. But if you come here around level 27, uh, and fish here, then you're very likely to go ahead and get a ton of EXP, so just come on in here around level 27, pop in your crayfish balls or your silver spoon lures, get to fishing, and like I said... Just be patient with it. It's RNG. If you do happen to um, kind of want to do this AFK, I really shouldn't be saying this, but if you want to be really lazy about it, I don't like to buy fish on the market board, but if you're kind of needing to do some stuff, you can actually turn your vibration on for your controller and go ahead and cast out. And whenever you feel a vibration, then you just go ahead and pull it in and then take a look at the screen. If you've got mooch ability, go ahead and mooch at that point. But you can kind of do it without looking at it. That way you can kind of do other stuff if you like. So if you're looking to multitask, that's one way to do it. I prefer to just get out and relax and kind of focus on the fishing. But I know a lot of people don't have time for that or, you know, just don't really enjoy that. So it's up to you guys. Outside of that, hope this video helped. We will be back really soon with the next job fishing quest or the fishing job quest. Outside of that, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What I do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need, such as devoting your time and uh, maybe funds to a local organization that helps out animals uh such as donating blankets, uh, that sort of thing, food to the animals, or maybe even consider fostering. So guys, there are plenty of animals out there who could use your love out there. And speaking of love, I love you. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. And we will see you all the next time, guys. Bye-bye.